Require. Get a pen or a pencil and write it down. There is a magic that happens when you write things down. And when you write things down, you will more easily remember what you wrote. So do not screenshot or take a picture of this or any list I give you. Ingredients you will require. One, activated charcoal. Two, baking soda. Three, organic pure extract of your desired choice. Four, coconut oil, grapeseed oil, or oil of your desired choice. Five, mixing bowl. Six, mixing utensils. Spoon, fork, whisk. Seven, glass storage container or containers, baby food jars work well. Okay. So, here we have uh, activated charcoal. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So we have grapeseed oil. A lot of people are actually using the coconut oil, but I was, there was too much separation from the ingredients for me, so I have decided to go with uh, with grapeseed oil. I have gotten, you know, different, uh, you know, pear extracts. I have lime extract, peppermint extract, orange extract. Here is a pear almond, and then I have an organic vanilla. So what, what I'm going to do is mix that, and, um, well, I'm going to make uh, myself and a few of my family members a um, natural toothpaste that has a base of uh, baking soda. Baking soda is a teeth whitener as well as the activated charcoal. So both of these are going to be super powerful ingredients to um, whitening your teeth, okay? Now the activated charcoal, it works as a uh, like a sponge to absorb uh, toxins, but then it actually holds those toxins within its molecules. So when I say you have not felt a clean um, before in your mouth, like you have, you will when you use activated charcoal, I'm telling you, talk about fresh. So I, I, I was thinking about doing more of a minty toothpaste, but I'm really not feeling that. Um, there was an old toothpaste that I used to use when I did use um, a fluoride toothpaste, and that actually had a more uh, lemon vanilla flavor, not lemon, orange, excuse me, orange vanilla. It was like an uncle. I'm going to do something more on the lines of that. So I have actually, I'm not going to keep the toothpaste in these little containers. I just wanted to um, measure them out so I had, uh, you know, enough for three, you know, people. And so I'm just going to put these, and I, I mean, they, they can temporarily go in these, but a baby food jar, like a uh, glass baby food jar. And they, I mean, they can tell. 
black tablecloth down, but I mean, when you do this, you seriously don't want to, you know, wear white or something like that because you can totally ruin clothes with this unless you wash it immediately and even then, good luck. a paste so that it is you know because some people are just doing the charcoal the activated charcoal and water mm, yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not too um, I mean you can if that's all you want or that's all you have but you could easily make it into a paste with a little bit of you know organic oil or whatever and so Obviously, because I'm holding the camera, I'm not really, like, measuring and everything. Um, we're just going to make this into a, a paste that um, will stay on the toothbrush because that's another thing. Oh, people are um, utilizing these thin consistencies of, um, you know, their concoctions for this activated charcoal and that doesn't help keep it in your mouth either um, and activated charcoal is really drying because it's a it will absorb like I said and so uh, if you take this as like a detoxifying liquid where you you know, take it with water or whatever. Um, you know, I wouldn't, okay, let me, let me say this. I would not suggest, even though this is a healthy, um, concoction, I still wouldn't suggest swallowing, um, your mixture of toothpaste, only because you are actually getting all of the, uh, toxins and pollutants and, chemicals or, you know, food, um, you know, whatever you had in your mouth is going into these particles. Keep in mind, Western medicine in their genocidal hospitals actually use activated charcoal. If you've been poisoned, if you have had drank too much and had alcohol poisoning or anything to that effect. They will pump your stomach to attempt to get everything that they possibly can out of your stomach uh, that's in there and then utilize the activated charcoal to get any leftovers or remaining poison or alcohol. Activated charcoal is a hospital staple that used to be a household staple. Hospitals use activated charcoal when their patients have actually uh, had some kind of poisoning, whether they have drank some kind of liquid uh, that has been poisonous or they have even had alcohol poisoning. This would include household chemicals as well. They will pump the individual's stomach and then they will actually uh, utilize the activated charcoal to absorb any of the excess or poison that the individual has ingested and it will absorb all of the toxins within its molecule and not release it so whatever wasn't pumped out of the stomach that acts as a, a sponge to absorb any of the excess toxins or poison. I mean, I guess because it is absorbent and it doesn't release, it doesn't release um, the toxins, it holds it. I guess it really could be uh, ingested, but man, I just want to get all that stuff out immediately. But it could serve a dual purpose. 
So this video was not playing on my Instagram for some reason I don't know and anyone that I sent it to was not being able to actually see or hear it either so I actually had to hold down the button and I screenshot it from here anyways I'm very disappointed in the Tom's brand because when I went to go get toothpaste I seen that they only had one fluoride free option out of like five or six different types of Tom's and Tom's used to be a brand that you could go to that actually had many fluoride free options so this is not so cool Tom's we need you guys to go back to fluoride free look at each one of these that actually has fluoride in it can you believe this fluoride 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 with fluoride Come on, Tom's, really? This is sad. This is unfortunate. I really held Tom's in high esteem. And now they only have one out of all these various toothpaste. So that's why we're doing this video. Showing you how to make your own fluoride free toothpaste organically. Okay, so if you didn't want it to go to waste and you thought there were any more uh, ability within it, okay, see how the, this is this is pretty good. Like it's I, it needs like definitely smoothing out. Um, and I want to keep mixing in the uh, oil until it gets to a thick paste that I'm comfortable with because I don't want it just splashing all over the bathroom, all over my bed clothes when I'm brushing my teeth before I go to sleep or, you know, whatever because this stuff, you know, it is, like I said, no joke, but this is super whitening and it's not causing all the harmful effects that a fluoride toothpaste would and it's super beneficial people said to your teeth so this is a this is really a, a task right here mixing this thick paste and holding a phone in the other hand <laughs> Production, commentary, narration, and, uh, you know, the actual, oh, see, this is good, this is getting good, it needs a little, I think a little bit more oil, um, so anyway, let's, I'll, I'll do the, the other oil, um, the grapeseed oil, again, uh, later, um, just to smooth it out, and I want it super smooth, no lumps. So this is a pure almond oil, and so I'm gonna put like a little bit of that. Now, you have to remember too, uh, the charcoal really doesn't have much of a flavor, but the baking soda has like a um, kind of strong, you know, salty flavor, so you wanna kinda negate that a little bit. Um, and so if, if that bothers you, you know, you can add stuff as well. So I'm going to do the organic, um, vanilla extract and just pour some of that in there. And then I'm going to do the orange, the orange almond, or excuse me, the orange <laughs> extract. I 
just wants it to taste good. Really good. Okay, and that's gonna add liquid too to um, smooth this out. So I wanted to put those before I put any more oil so that I know what that consistency will be uh, prior to adding any more oil because that could be the, the amount of liquid that I need now. And then, like I said, to, you know, use what we already have. And if you don't have them, I'm sure you can find them all. Um, or you could use, like, a pimento jar or capers jar or, you know, any, any jar that is glass. You want to use a glass jar, I would suggest, rather than a plastic jar that you're reusing. I mean, it's up to you, but my suggestion would be glass. Thumbs up, share, like, and 
and uh, let me know in the comments how